Knuth Morris Pratt algorithm, or KMP algorithm, is an efficient pattern matching algorithm used to find instances of a pattern within a given text. But before moving on to the KMP algorithm, let's first take a look at how a naive pattern matching algorithm works. First, we'll slide the pattern over the text and start comparing the corresponding elements one by one. If all the elements of the pattern match, we'll note the index of the match. However, if any one element mismatches, we'll move the pattern one step forward and repeat the process. In this naive approach, the pattern slides over the text n minus m plus one times, where n is the length of the text and m is the length of the pattern. In each pass, it compares on average half the length of the pattern. So the final time complexity will be big O of m times n. And the space complexity is constant because the algorithm doesn't require any additional data structures beyond the pattern and the text themselves. Now. Coming back to the KMP algorithm. Before we proceed with the search, we first need to construct the longest prefix suffix array, or the LPS array. This array is the same size as the pattern, and the idea here is that if a suffix of the pattern matches a prefix, we can avoid rechecking those characters when a mismatch occurs. In this pattern, the first letter A does not have any prefix or suffix, so the value in the LPS table for this position will be zero. B also doesn't have any matching prefix, so its position in the LPS table will also be zero. Now the next A does have a matching prefix, which is the first letter A, so its value in the LPS table will be one. Next, the character B also has a matching prefix, which is the second character B, so its value in the LPS table will be two. Similarly, we will check the prefix-suffix relationships for all the subsequent elements in the pattern and fill in the LPS table accordingly. Now that we understand the intuition behind the LPS table, let's go through the steps of constructing it. We will initialize an array with the same size as the pattern and set all of its elements to zero. We initialize two variables, i set to one and L set to zero. We then enter a loop where we compare the pattern elements at the current positions of I and L. If the characters don't match and L is not zero, we update L to the element at L minus one index in the LPS array. If L is zero and there's no match, we just increment I by one. If the characters match, we increment L by one. We set the elements at the I index in the LPS array to L. Then we increment I by one. Then we continue the loop until i reaches the length of the pattern. Now, once we obtain the LPS array, we can move on to the searching phase. First, we initialize two pointers, i and j, both initially set to zero. Then, we start matching the pattern element at the j index with the text element at the i index. If they don't match, and j is not zero, then we update j to the element at j minus one index in the LPS array. And if j is zero, then we simply increment i by one. And if the elements match, we increment both i and j by one and continue. Now, it mismatches again. And in this case, j is not zero. So we will update j to the value at j minus one index in the LPS table and continue. Now, 
Observe how the algorithm avoids rechecking the elements that have already been matched in the prefix. This is how the KMP algorithm efficiently handles pattern matching by using the LPS table to skip unnecessary comparisons and avoid rechecking matched prefixes. And also observe that the pointer i is not backtracking, which shows that the algorithm operates in linear time. And if a match is found, print its index in the text, then update j to the value at j minus 1 index in the LPS array to continue searching for further instances of the pattern. Upon reaching the end of the text, the loop breaks and the algorithm stops. Now the time complexity of the algorithm depends on two parts. The first is the construction of the LPS array, which involves looping over the pattern once, so the time complexity of that is big O of M, where M is the length of the pattern. The second part is the searching phase, which involves looping over the text, which has a time complexity of big O of N, where N is the length of the text. Therefore, the total time complexity of the KMP algorithm is big O of M plus N. Additionally, the algorithm requires an array to store the LPS table, which has a size equal to the length of the pattern. This means the space complexity is big O of M, where M is the length of the pattern. Since we only need this array and a few extra variables, the overall space complexity remains big O of M.